Today I'm reviewing the Razer Deathstalker Expert Gaming Keyboard. And pretty much this is just a gaming keyboard, let's get it out. Let's get a view of it, there it is. In all its glory on the box, so let's get right into it. So it's got fully, pro uh, pro bleh, fully programmable slim chiclet keycaps, 10 key anti-ghosting, and it's got Razer Synapse. 2.0 enabled, so uh, you obviously will not come with these dog looking hair things, these are scratches, uh, it's because of where it's on the box. Anyway, that's the box it comes in. Sorry about these like gods over there or something, but uh, that's what it looks like. That's the box we got in. Uh, it's a let's get in, uh, uh, sneak peek of what it's looked like behind. But here are everything so system requirements PC with a free USB port, wow. Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Win ooh. Please focus. No. Oh my god. Well, it says Windows XP 32 bit. And then you need an internet connection, 200 megabytes of free hard drive space or uh, hard disk storage space. Um, so Windows 8 compatible. Why isn't it focusing? Come on, focus. Tap to focus. It does slightly, but then let's get on to the back of it. So here you've got your green, you've got green backlit LED keys. You've got chiclet style keycaps. Just focus. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. There you go, chiclet style keycaps. You've got dedicated gaming mode. I'll tell you how to get into that. And then you've got the uh, anti ghosting uh, uh, capability for up to 10 simultaneous key presses. And then you've got fully programmable keys with on the fly macro recording, and then you've got all, all these, is it? all of these is here. So that, yeah, that's, that's the back of the box that it comes in. Um, this is this is the Razer keyboard. Let's get the wire out of the way. So this is what it looks like. It's black. And so let's go a visual overview on the corners. They are sort of like 45 degrees rather than 90 degrees, and this isn't all the corners. This sticker will not be on yours when you get it. Um, I you'll get some stickers, so you can put one there if you like the look of it. And you got like all the corners like that. So here there here's the chiclet style keys. They're really really low profile. Um, they make a quite a satisfying sound to type on. Uh, that wasn't needed, but oh, dust in my hands. Um, uh, so yeah, they it's a really nice keyboard. They I think there's like 20 levels of backlit stuffs. So I'll I won't be sure what those like because I don't really want to get this keyboard busted like uh, plug it into the wall. But uh, it's got a a gold plated USB cable uh, connector thing. But yeah, it's a full keyboard. You've got your number pad here, and you've got. Uh, your caps lock, number lock, scroll lock, macro recording, and gaming. So if you're uh, gaming, you want to press function, and F10. If you want to record, you want to press uh, F9, because you've got the macro thing, and you've got the gaming thing there. And also, you've got function, so then you can hit mute, volume down, volume up, um, go back one, pause, play, go forwards, um... And then you've got, and you can press function, you can make it go to sleep. Um, that's about it with function. So I don't know what key switches these have, I know it's a mechanical keyboard um, because I watched a review on it and it says it's got a mechanical keyboard. Not got a mechanical keyboard, but it is a mechanical keyboard. And um, yeah, it's got a Razer logo here, but I didn't think that was enough, so I put a green one that came with the um, keyboard there. And then it's got this nice wrist rest that's textured like that looks quite they're uh, quite similar to the um, background on my intro but it's quite reflective as you can see in my phone and my hand see there is in all of its glory um, so it's a really nice keyboard it's really easy and nice to type with it's good size for my I mean my hands quite big and I can get the whole keyboard um, it's quite a thin keyboard if you get a side view of it. There you go, side view. 
nice and nice and thin. And on the back, I put another sticker on it because I got bored. There you go, razor sticker that I got for buying this at EGX. And then you've got these, um, you've got these nice rubber things to stop and slip. And you've got these on all four corners. Then you've got one, the long one at the bottom, and you've got one in the corner again. So then you've, if you want it tilted, you've got these with rubber things on the bottom of those as well. So no matter how you have it, it's not going to um, slip around. And also, the nice thing about these don't fold up backwards, they fold up sideways, which means they're a lot stronger. If you, like, somebody hits your keyboard a lot, they won't, like, they can't really go back very far because they're supported by this, so they ain't really going to snap off, and they're quite sturdy anyway. And they're not going to slip out one way or another, so it's the same for both, really, and it's not really going to break, it doesn't really move too much. You might be able to hear that, but that's it, just hitting the sides, and it doesn't move too much. So, this keyboard, right, so, this is a really enjoyable keyboard to type on, it's, I use it for my, there's a cat behind me, I just sat down, wow, um, I use this on all my school work, sorry about this, um, it's gone, uh, all my school work, I excuse the fact that I've got a cold, what the hell is my cat doing? <laughs> so I just stared at the cat and she stopped it. That's what she's doing, by the way. Alright, she stopped now. It's, yeah, it's really nice to type on. It's got like the keyboard. It's quite it's really enjoyable. I mean, it's, I use it for all my schoolwork. I've got sweet hands. I don't know why. Um, and it, it's, it, I can type really quick on it. And there, there's a nice view of it. Let's go back again. It's got a matte sort of coating, and it's just like so. It's like I had an old, it was like a seven pound keyboard, and going from a seven pound keyboard to a hundred pound keyboard, um, oops, case really, really, really made a difference to me. It, it's, it's so nice to type on. If you're if you're in the market and you've got like a green sort of system, mine's blue at the moment, but I'm planning to get some green Corsair fans. I've got a Razor Ouroboros, I think. Now it's just a top end mouse. That's green as well, so I'm hoping to change from blue to green, because I think green's cool and green poison and all, so um yeah, so I, I really like this keyboard, it's really nice. If you've got a if you've got a system that's green, then go for this keyboard. I highly recommend it. If you like to type on uh like chick lit keyboards, so like small keys, or if you like Game if you like typing on a um, on a what is it called a laptop keyboard that's it really for that as well. Uh, the only downfall is if you like gaming and like having the whole keyboard. I mean the travel distance is really quite low and it pretty much, as soon as you press down it, it activates. So you just have to t you press it. And most of the time you press it, you're bottom out. So that's something. If you don't like bottom uh, bottom outing bottoming out. Your key presses, don't buy this keyboard, it's not the one for you. Other than that, I really do full heartedly recommend this keyboard if you're in the market for a new green keyboard. If you've enjoyed this video, I apologise for that sound, it's disgusting. Please like, make and subscribe, as I say in all my videos. You do not understand how much it helps me if you like it. And with that, I'll be gone.